ready? Springtime is almost here, and with that comes a lot of gardening. Here at our house, we love to get our hands dirty, and Willow and I have even been known to garden barefoot. But washing up all that dirt can give us really dry hands. So today, I'm gonna make a lavender patchouli mint hand cream. For this hand cream, I'm going to be using organic virgin coconut oil, I have some sweet almond oil that I have infused with lavender, patchouli, and mint, hence the name lavender patchouli mint. Beeswax. Distilled water. And aloe vera gel. I'm gonna start out by melting my hardest oils and waxes first. So, in my double broiler, I'll be adding the beeswax and the coconut oil. Once that's melted, I'll add the sweet almond oil. Since it's already in its liquid state, it doesn't take very much heat. Now that my beeswax and coconut oil has melted, I'm going to add my um, infused grapeseed oil. And as you can see, adding the additional oil causes my already melted mixture to seize up a bit because it's cooler than what's been melted. So I'm just gonna heat that um, just a little bit to get it melted again, and then I'm gonna take it off the heat. Now that my oils have melted, I'm gonna add them to my blender and let them cool in the blender for a while. Now, um, a lot of things I've read and seen recommend using a really high-powered blender, which we have, but I got this blender at my um, local thrift store for $4, and so far it's done a wonderful job. This is a blender that I use just for these purposes. I don't have to worry about it getting um, mixed with food. So use what you have, and the thrift store is always a good place to go if you don't have something. So I'm gonna add my um, oils that are melted, and I'm gonna let them sit here in the blender container until they cool. Now you can put this in the refrigerator to cool, but um, watch it very closely because you don't want it to cool down completely. Otherwise, what you're gonna have is a bomb and you're not gonna be able to mix in your waters. So I'm gonna let this set out um, of the refrigerator for a while and wait for it to solidify just a little bit. So now that my oils have cooled to the point to where it's opaque, but it's still in the liquid form, I'm gonna add the water. And this is where it gets tricky because you wanna add the water very, very, very slowly so that it incorporates with the oil. And you wanna put your blender on the highest speed possible. So my little $4 blender here is really loud. Um, so I'm going to turn it on and then add the water um, and show you what it looks like. After. Okay, just pausing to show you, I've added, um, from my cup of water, I've added um, almost all of it. Oops, there we go. Um, not quite all of it yet, but as you can see, it's, it's the consistency of a cream, which is really nice. So I'm gonna scrape down the sides again and keep blending. So as you can see, I've added all the water. So I'm gonna scrape down the sides just one more time. Okay, now my um, cream is already slightly scented from the in oil infusion. I'm gonna add a little bit more um, essential oils in addition to lavender, patchouli, and mint. I have some geranium and sweet orange just to give it a little bit um, more fragrance. So I have some sterilized containers. This weighs about 16 ounces, so I'm gonna disperse it um, amongst my sterilized containers. And because it's not quite solid yet, it's easy to get in there. So that's the consistency. And it smells 
really good. Um, and again, I like this cream because it absorbs into your hands really quickly and it doesn't leave a greasy um, residue on it, but it's very moisturizing. So there you have it, lavender patchouli mint hand cream. Perfect for springtime gardening hands.